Hey guys, Matthew here. So Samsung announced, I think last week, the Galaxy Buds Pro along with their Samsung Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and S21 Ultra phones. And so I went ahead and pre-ordered the Galaxy Buds Pro um, and they actually came in early. I was told that they were going to come in on the or be shipped on the 24th, but they came in today. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and just take a quick look at these, unbox them, and do a, just a quick walkthrough of these. So go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so these, just real quick, have two-way speakers for dynamic sound or rich sound. Uh, that means that they have a 11 millimeter woofer and a 6.5 millimeter tweeter so that should be able to give you good deep bass but also give you nice crisp clear mids and highs which would be really good these have active noise cancellation which is different than the ANC that the Galaxy Buds Live have those have active noise cancellation for open ear earbuds these are just plain active noise cancellation so these should be able to cancel out more noise than the Galaxy Buds Live. Uh, these have 5 to 18 hours of battery life. That's with the case. So I believe it's 5 hours with ANC on and 8 hours with ANC off plus an additional 2 extra full charges with the case. So yeah. And then these also have are IPX7 water and dust resistant so that means that if you were to accidentally go swimming with these in the pool that these will be fine I wouldn't recommend it but just as an in case they will be fine compared to the live and the buds plus which are IPX2 rated so anyways uh, that's really good there um, these come in at $200 or $199.99 from retail so I got these from Samsung's uh, website uh, pre-ordered them for $199.99 these are more expensive than the Galaxy Buds Plus which are $149.99 however I think on sale right now they are $129.99 and then these are more expensive than the Galaxy Buds Live, which are normally $179.99, but on sale right now, they are $139.99. So anyways, um, just a little bit more expensive, but they're supposed to sound better and have better active noise cancellation. So for the price, you get better. So these are competing with, let's say, the AirPod Pros and stuff like that. So anyways, let's go ahead and just quickly unbox these. We got our knife here. Let's go ahead and flip this over and cut here and here on the bottom as well. Okay, put that up. And let's go ahead and open these. And the first thing you have are your Galaxy Buds, the case as well. So we'll go ahead and just take these out and as you can see it's a very nice matte finish case which this case should look very familiar it looks just like the galaxy buds live case however it is matte finish and not shiny but i'll show you a little bit of the difference in a minute next thing we have here are we've got the charging cable so here is the charging cable let me take this out real quick okay so here's the charging cable. It's USB-C to USB-A um, cable. It's a pretty decent cable, I mean Samsung cable. So that's nice. That means that this case right here can charge via USB-C right here just like the other uh, Galaxy Buds Live case. But it can also charge via wirelessly on a Qi wireless charger like that. Okay, as you can see the little red light turned on. Anyways, and then the next thing we get are just some ear tips right here I think you get a set of small and large that means that the medium are pre-installed with the earbuds already so that's different than the live earbuds is that these actually have ear tips rather than those funky little ear things that the live had so we'll move this to the side and then on the the top box part of the box you have more of your paperwork stuff like that how to how to put the earbuds in your ear quick start guide 
yeah, quick start guide right here, all that kind of stuff. So we'll just kind of throw that there and we'll keep all this there. So you get your cable, you get your ear tips, and of course you get your quick start guide and your Galaxy Buds Pro in the box. Okay, so here are the Galaxy Buds Pro right here, the case at least. Um, as you can see, like I said, it is a nice matte finish. Uh, should be somewhat uh, fingerprint resistant, which I really like. Uh, this is very similar to the matte finish of the um, S21 Ultra, the Phantom Black, I believe is what it's called. So on this, you can get three different options. You can get the Phantom Black, the Phantom White, and the Phantom Violet. Um, which is different than the live, the Buds Live, because these come with a mystic color. So they've got their mystic white, mystic black, and then the difference is that these have the phantom violet versus these, which had the mystic bronze. So anyways, as you can tell, it's pretty much the same case, same charging port, everything like that, except for the fact that these are matte and these are glossy. So anyways, just letting you guys know. So let's just open up the case real quick and there you go here are the earbuds themselves right here they look nice they're definitely different than let's say your galaxy buds plus and definitely different than your galaxy buds live but these are nice they're supposed to feel really good supposed to not stick out of your ears a whole lot so we'll go ahead and just quickly set these up so let me put these back in the case real quick Okay, so I've got the Galaxy Wear app. It's available on both Android and iOS devices. So you can get it through your Apple Store or your Google Play Store. Um, and then what you would do is you tap next, add new device right there. You'd open these up right here and you'd click the Galaxy Buds Pro right there. As you do that, it kind of scans for your wearable device, whether it's earbuds, watch, anything like that. Of course, it's found my Galaxy Buds Pro, so we'll go ahead and tap that. Just got to give it some permissions. And install the plugin if you don't have a Samsung device. If you have a Samsung device, I'm pretty sure with an update, of the Samsung device, you should already have the Galaxy Buds Pro plugin. So, anyways, we'll go ahead and do that. Now we have, we can go ahead and continue. And just like that, you're all set up. No fuss, no mess, anything like that. Super simple, very easy. I believe with a Samsung Galaxy phone, just like when you pair iPhone to let's say AirPods Pros or anything like that, a little graphic will show up on your uh, Samsung Galaxy phone that will kind of look very similar and you can just press connect and it'll go ahead and do all that. But if you don't have that, you've got uh, the wearable app and it'll go ahead and connect and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and view update. Apparently there's already a new update for these earbuds. Okay, so now that I've got the earbuds updated, we can go through the app itself real quick and just look and see what kind of features there are and all that. I know some devices don't quite have the Galaxy Pro Buds Pro icon on their Galaxy Wear app. Hopefully it shows up pretty soon. You might have to try to update the app itself. But anyways, I luckily have the app. So anyways, let's just go through this real quick. So right here we have active noise cancellation. I'm going to go ahead and put these in my ears. So that way it can detect that these are in my ear. So I can change the settings and all that real quick. Okay, so we have active noise cancellation. Uh, you have two different levels, high and low. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you can do off. And it's just like regular passive noise isolation usually what you get with any other earbuds and then you have your ambient noise and you can do low and kind of medium high and then extra high okay so now you have voice detection and what this is 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 a feature where when you start talking it will go ahead and put your 
earbuds into more of an ambient sound mode it will lower the volume so in that way you can hear your surroundings hear who you're talking to and then about after 10 seconds 15 seconds it will go ahead and go back to active noise cancellation so that's pretty cool and the next thing is block touches so in that way if you are laying in bed and you don't want anything to accidentally touch the touchpad um, you can do this and it will just totally block the touch of the touchpad so you can just listen to your music touch and hold so these give you different settings stuff like that for uh, your earbuds and there's not a whole lot of different um, programmable settings for these but there are some so you can do voice commands you can do switch noise controls stuff like that volume up volume down and Spotify so I'm glad that at least they allow this so I'm gonna go ahead and do volume up and volume down just like that now your equalizer um, just like any other Galaxy Buds Galaxy Buds Plus Galaxy Live they've got your equalizer here normally there's actually a little knob that changes it let me see if I can go let me do buds plus and see as you can see there's like this equalizer knob well they've changed that for the buds pro and now it's just a regular equalizer thing I tend to like more dynamic because that gives you rich crisp clears and highs and some good bass but other people like to change it a little bit different but anyways that's just my preference so we'll go ahead and change that. And then you can do read notifications out loud. Okay, and then advanced. So this is more, um, if you have, it's very similar to AirPods when you switch from your iPhone to your MacBook Pro or MacBook or anything like that. You can, it switches things seamlessly. Uh, this is the same thing except it's with Samsung devices. So let's say you've got your Galaxy it's Samsung Galaxy S21 or any of the Galaxy phones and then let's say you got a Galaxy tablet like a Tab S7 something like that or you have a, a Samsung notebook will switch seamlessly back and forth between the two devices which is really nice it's very similar to um, Apple's uh, seamless switching that they've got now you've got your find my earbuds which is nice so we're gonna go ahead I've got my earbuds here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pretend like. It's a nice little chirp. It gets louder and louder as you keep going. So yeah, not too bad. Um, I can see where maybe if your earbuds are dug into your couch really well, you won't be able to hear that. But for the most part, I think it should be fine. And then let's see here you got your general where you just reset your stuff and then you can update your earbuds with the uh, the software tips and manual and all that so yeah that is the galaxy buds pro app itself um, it's very nice it's very good I um, it's kind of intuitive I think with the galaxy phones it might be more intuitive there might be more features but again I've got a pixel 4 XL right here I'll try this with the galaxy s 10 and plus and see how that works and see if there's anything different with that but anyways um, that is the app itself so I like the case how it opens and closes um, it's pretty nice it has that nice little click so and then the, the buds themselves kind of just fit nicely in there and as you can see they charge immediately and then on the back, again, like I said, it has USB-C for charging, and you also have wireless charging right there. So yeah, anyways, that is the Galaxy Buds Pro unboxing and walkthrough and setup of these earbuds. Uh, these are, again, for $199.99. You can get them through uh, Best Buy's website, I believe. You can get them through Samsung's website, any of those kind of retailers. Uh, but anyways, I will definitely be testing these out, listening to these, using these as my daily earbuds, hopefully, for the next several weeks while I'm busy doing other stuff. Um, hopefully, I can get some other reviews and stuff out, too. So just stay out for the lookout for those. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I post another video. Until then, everyone, stay safe. Peace.